Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on solving equations with variables on each side. When we look at our first equation, 5x plus 12 equals 2x. It's a little unusual because we actually have variables on both sides. So what we need to do is to be able to get all of the variables over to just one of the sides. Well, I would actually move this 5x over to the right side of the equation. And the way we are going to do that is to actually subtract 5x from both sides of our equation. Because 5x minus 5x is just 0. It cancels. And we're left with 12 equals, well, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So 2x minus 5x is negative 3x. And now I have negative 3 times x. The opposite of multiplication here is division. So we are going to divide by negative 3 on both sides of our equation. This cancels out as it's just 1. And 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So negative 4 equals x. Now when it comes to checking our solution, we start by rewriting our original equation, 5x plus 12 equals 2x. And then we are going to substitute in our negative 4 for our x's. So 5 times negative 4 plus 12 needs to equal 2 times negative 4. Well, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 plus 12 needs to equal 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And negative 20 plus 12 is equal to negative 8 as we simplify the left side. So negative 8 equals negative 8, which verifies negative 4 does equal x. What about our next equation? 7x plus 5 equals x minus 2. Now I know some of us like to rewrite this, so we have 7x plus 5 equals 1x. That x is just a 1x minus 2. Now there are multiple ways of solving this equation. I would work to get the variables on one side first. Could you move the 7x by subtracting 7x from both sides? Yes. Could you move the 1x? Yes. The choice is up to you. I am going to decide to move the 1x. And the way I'm going to do that is to subtract 1x from both sides of our equation. We are left with 7x minus 1x is 6x plus 5 equals, well, 1x minus 1x cancels. And we're left with, now be careful here, this is a minus, so we're left with negative 2. And now we're down to a two-step equation. Let's subtract 5 from both sides now. We're left with 6x plus 5 minus 5 cancels equals negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Last, divide by 6 on both sides. 6 divided by 6 is 1, so that cancels. And we're left with x equals a negative 7 sixths. And as we go to check our solution, rewrite our original equation, 7x plus 5 equals x minus 2. Substitute in our negative 7 sixths for x. So 7, and I'm going to rewrite that right now as 7 over 1, times negative 7 sixths plus 5 needs to equal 
negative 7 sixths minus 2. Well, we're left with negative 49 over 6 plus 5 over 1 equals, now we'll write this negative 7 sixths minus 2 over 1. We do need to find common denominators here, so we'll just kind of do an intermediate step here. Our common denominator can be 6 here, and 1 times 6 was 6, so 5 times 6 is 30. And once again, on this side, we can have a common denominator of 6. 1 times 6 was 6, 2 times 6 is 12. So we're left with negative 49 plus 30 is negative 19 over 6. And negative 7 minus 12 is negative 19 over 6. That checks out. So as weird as it may look, x equals negative 7 sixth is our solution for this equation. Now what if we were to actually subtract the 7x first? Would we get the same thing? Well, if we subtracted 7x from both sides, this would cancel. We'd be left with 5 equals 1 minus 7 is negative 6x minus 2. We can then add 2 to both sides. We'd be left with 7 equals negative 6x, and the minus 2 plus 2 cancels. And we could lastly divide by negative 6 on both sides of our equation. And we'd be left with negative 7 sixths equals x. So yes, we do get the same thing. It does not matter which way you start your equation, whether you subtract 7x first or whether you subtract 1x from both sides first. The choice is really yours. Now what I like to tell students is that if you subtract 7x, you're going to be left with a negative 6. And whereas if you would have subtracted 1x, you'd be having 6x on this side. I mean, it's whether or not you want to work with positive or negative numbers. And you can look at the equations and, and mentally look and go, okay, this is what I'd rather do. But again, either way you solve it, it will work. What if we have fractions? Solve the equation, check your solution, 3 fourths x minus 3 equals 1 half x plus 3. Well, as I look at this, I know I'm going to have to do something with these x's first, either adding or subtracting. And I know, and I hope you know, that we need common denominators when we add or subtract fractions. So let's write those first. The common denominator for fourths and halves is, well, fourths. So we can keep our 3 fourths x minus 3 equals, well, one-half can be rewritten as two-fourths x plus three. And now I know we just talked about you could subtract three-fourths on both sides, and if you did that, mentally this would be a negative one-fourth x, or you could subtract the two-fourths x from both sides. Now, I'm going to choose to subtract the two-fourths x from both sides so that we can keep our fraction positive. 3 fourths minus 2 fourths is 1 fourth x minus 3 equals, well, 2 fourths x minus 2 fourths x cancels, and we're left with just a positive 3. Now, we can add 3 to both sides. We're left with 1 fourth x, the minus 3 plus 3 cancels equals 6. Lastly, I can divide by my reciprocal of 1 fourth, which is 4 over 1, or just 4. That cancels as it's just 1, and x equals 24. Now, I can go to solve or check this solution. And as we show our check step, we can rewrite our original equation first. So 3 fourths x minus 3 equals 1 half 
x plus 3. Again, I think it is important to write that as a 1 half and not a 2 fourths, just in case we would made a mistake in finding common denominators. Now we get to substitute in 3 fourths times 24, which is just 24 over 1, minus 3 equals 1 half multiplied by 24 over 1 plus 3. Now we can cross simplify and that might make things a little bit easier as we multiply here. The 4 and the 24 we can both divide by 4 and we get 1 and 6. And this 2 and 24 we can simplify, divide by 2 we get 1 and 12. Now, 3 times 6 is 18 over 1 which is just 18 minus 3 equals 1 times 12 is 12 over 1 is just 12 plus 3. And now 18 minus 3 is 15 equals 12 plus 3 is also 15 so x equals 24 is our solution. Now for our word problem. A car rental agency has two plans. Under plan A a car rents for $80 plus $20 each day. Under plan B, a car rents for $120 plus $15 each day. Write and solve an equation to determine for what number of days the costs of the two plans will be equal. Let's look at our plan A and see if we can write an expression for plan A first. A car rents for $80 plus $20 each day. And if we look at plan B, the car rents for $120 plus $15 each day. And those are our two expressions. Now our question asks us to write and solve an equation to determine for what number of days the cost of the two plans will be equal. So we want to set our two expressions equal to each other, our two plans equal. So 80 plus 20d is going to equal 120 plus 15d. And again, if we focus on moving our variables to one side first, we could subtract the 20 from both sides. We'd be left with negative 5 d, or we could subtract the 15 from both sides, and that's what I prefer to do. But again, you don't have to. We'd be left with 80, 20 minus 15 is a positive 5d, equals 120, and 15d minus 15d cancels. And now we need to finish solving for d. We're going to subtract 80 from both sides of our equation. 80 minus 80 is 0, so it cancels. We are left with 5d equals 40. Last, divide by 5 on both sides of our equation. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that cancels. And we're simply left with d equals 8. Now I would check this. I would check this. We have our equation 80 plus 20d equals 120 plus 15d. And we can make our substitutions in. We'd have 80 plus 20 times 8 is going to equal 120 plus 15 times 8. Well, as we continue simplifying both sides, 80 plus 20 times 8 is 160 equals 120 plus 15 times 8 is 120. And 80 plus 160 is 240 
equals 240, since 120 plus 120 is 240. So our D equals 8, our question was asking us to determine for what number of days the cost of the plans will be equal. So our answer is, well, at 8 days, both plans will cost $240, as our check step proved. And that is it for this lesson on solving equations with variables on each side. I'm Mr. Richards. Good luck.